All right, well, you will want to start your holiday shopping early if you haven't already. I know I'm going to be wanting to. We Be Jammin' is hosting their holiday shopping extravaganza this Saturday, November 11th. And joining us today to tell us about the that event and the other event as well is Debbie Wood with We Be Jammin'. And also we have Joe Boisvert from Ocean State Food Trucks. Thanks so much for being here. Good morning. Good morning. So you were just telling me the coolest thing about this event on, on the 11th. So mm -hmm. tell me about tell me about this first event. It's going to be a big one. It is. So uh, we are finally going inside because the weather hasn't cooperated. So our yes. vendors are very happy. So we have 111 Ooh. vendors for 1111. I love that. Inside the Grand Ballroom at the Crown Plaza. That's going to be great. So you know, what can people expect when they go? Sure. Um, every type of craft and handmade item imaginable: jewelry, candles, kids' things, pet things, home things, decorations, um, the whole thing. And then we understand that people get hungry while they're out and about shopping. So Joe, that's again. where you come in. Right. <laughs> what so, can people expect? Well, we're going to have some food trucks right outside. Um, we'll have a hook and ladder pizza. They'll be doing their um, wood-fired pizzas. Uh, hot potato will be there. Oh, yeah. um, axle rods. Atomic Blonde will be there with some fall favorites. She'll be doing some of her you know, apple pie a la mode sundaes. Oh, and that sounds uh, so yummy. Yeah, she has a lava brownie sundae. Um, axle rods. We're going to do a, 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 a bacon cheddar uh, apple. It's an apple apple wood smoked bacon oh burger. So, yeah, we'll definitely have some fall uh, fall treats there. That sounds so good. And Deb, you know, I love supporting local businesses and crafters. Mm -hmm. You brought some really great items in front of us. Is this some of the items that people could expect? Oh, to absolutely, see? Look absolutely. At this. this is so great. I would, I would snatch all of this stuff up <laughs> right now if I could, but you know, this is again, such a great way to, to support local businesses and crafters. And again, that will be this weekend, this Saturday. And now let's talk about to this turkey trot coming up. When is that? So this Saturday we'll also have turkey raffles oh. right along with the theme. So every hour we'll have uh, turkey raffles. Um, and then on the 18th, we're going back outside at our favorite Rocky Point. Yes. Um, hopefully the weather cooperates this time. Keep our fingers and, crossed. Uh, right. And and again, there'll be well over a hundred vendors, and yeah, we have uh, 15 to 17 food trucks. Wow! So we'll have a, you know, a wide variety of all your uh, Rhode Island favorite food trucks there. That's amazing. Yeah. Deb, what do you love so much about you know these events? Is it bringing people together? You know, what is for you the the core, the passion of it? So we have a uh, there's a couple of things that keep me going. Um, one is we always like to give back. That's our mission and Ocean State Food Trucks mission, and we know that. The the community comes out. We know they love these types of events. They're family friendly. They're family driven. Mm -hmm. um, we love when we can use Rocky Point. It's such yeah. a beautiful place. It's so big and it's just wonderful to see the, the people coming out and um, kind of remind you of when it was a park. Absolutely. The last piece of it is these vendors, This some of them, this is their main source of income. So a great we, point. we do work hard at putting the events together and doing whatever we can to drive the people in to support them. And hopefully they make sales. Absolutely. So in a way, it's, you know, this is their paycheck. This is their paycheck. And then lastly, the most important thing is that we take all of the proceeds that are raised from, you know, the vendors paying rent. And that's all turned over to the community police department in Warwick, and they use it for events such as stocking the food kitchen at West Bay, you know, community yeah. action and, and things like that. So. It's, you're bringing the community and it makes a full circle. I was going to say, it really is a full circle a of what full you're doing. It's That's incredible. It. Thank and you. also, the event too on this Saturday, free admission? Everything is free. Always free admission and free parking. I yep. love that. Yep. Thank you both so much for coming. You're welcome. Love when you're here. Truly want to like buy everything over here. It's such a beautiful, you did a great setup this morning. Oh, thank you. And we will have all the information for these events right over at, look at Joe yes. over there taking <laughs> that. Put that right back. <laughs> I'm going to take that over at roadshow.com. <laughs>